Hello, I'm Clarice Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's Tarot Overall Signs for Friday the 12th of April 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there I give one question readings amongst other things. Now you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website at any time. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Book in at any time because I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show and then I'll send you the link to the replay so if you forget to come live or if you can't make it because you're asleep or you're working or whatever when I do that show, don't worry, you can still get your one question reading because you can watch it back afterward. Um, alternatively, you can come live, you can book while I'm live too, and I'll do it right away for you. So yeah, find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. I also offer private readings from my website, behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them. There's very different types. Check it out on that link and get yourself booked in. Um, there are two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video and then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. Do that as many times as you like on all of my videos throughout the month. It'll get you many entries in. The second way is by, um, checking out my pick a card reads. If you purchase the deeper dives to those, that's the extended readings that go with the pick a card reads and that'll get you an entered, entered into the second prize draw. So good luck with winning those. Now, what's in the energies for everybody today? Creation of light, things getting easier, better, easier, lighter, more enjoyable, more fun. Just easier, I think, easier. Get, things getting easier, lighter. Lighten the load. You know, often we can be expecting too much of ourselves. We can burden ourselves up. Like, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And I've got all these burdens. And we make ourselves really busy. And then we... Um, there's not that much to do, really, right? If we get back to basics, there's not that much to do. You might need to lighten your load today. We've got tending the garden and courage, and it might take courage, yeah, to to sort out your own stuff, just basics. Do you know what I mean? It's like I can't come to work today because I've got to prep food prep and sort my house out, you know? I'm not suggesting that you do that, but sometimes we need to do that. We need to prioritize. Uh, get back to basics. It's, it'll make things easier if you make things easier on yourself. Safety. Especially if there's something that you need to sort out in order to keep yourself safe. You need to prioritize that. Make things easier for yourself today. Shed loads that you don't need to deal with today, for sure. And deal with something that you really do need to deal with. The Three of Cups is the people -y card. So we're peopling today. There could be an invitation to something or other people wanting something from you. Six of Wands, you seem to be doing really well. Now I'm getting a message from this one. You seem to be doing really well and people, people, you know, you might just be seen to be doing really well. What am I trying to say? People might think you're always okay because you always seem to be doing okay. And it's like, well, you don't have a problem. You can do this extra thing for me because you're always cool and you're always okay. And perhaps you're not. And perhaps you need to admit it sometimes. No, I've got a lot on my plate and I need to prioritize myself. You know, um, you might be being seen to be independent, always on top of things, able to give plenty to other people because you're always like that. You're always sorted. And it might not be true. It might not be sharing what's going on for you really you know because we're all living a mixed bag if we're honest about it and we tend not to be honest about it especially social media you know we don't share things that are going wrong for us sometimes we do if we want a bit of support but rarely do we do that you know we share the positive things not the other things and it can make us all feel like everything is positive for everyone else and I'm the only one that's got some negative stuff going on but it's not true there's a mixed bag for everybody nine of swords anxiety and it can make us like isolated and feel really bad if we think that we're suffering by ourselves and no one else is in that same position it's good to share things not that we need to be like negative Nelly or you know just whinging at people all the time but Mm, it, a problem shared is a problem halved, right? Temperance. Temperance is about feeling something and then dealing with it. In a world where perhaps we've been taught to push those feelings down and don't bother anyone else with it and be independent, and we might have got too good at doing that. Anyway, three of cups, other people. You might be 
getting together with other people two of inspiration and justice two of inspiration is a crossroad and justice is the card of karma so what is truly yours intuitively you know what's yours what's not yours you're at a crossroads now so you get to decide what your priorities are don't be a people pleaser today I feel like people pleasing is what's got you into a predicament of juggling too many balls spinning too many plates on those poles perhaps for everyone else being seen to be doing really well when perhaps you're not you just don't talk about the problems that you've got there's burdens behind that yeah don't take in other people's burdens on you're at a crossroads now it's time to perhaps be a little bit more frank about what you're going through like the the amount that's on your plate and you don't need to please other people or be the one that has it all together and you don't need to project that image we don't need to be perfect nobody is six of wands this is the but you seem to be doing great and perhaps you shouldn't be the four of materials perhaps you need to hold your energy back you know not be so available to other people to pick up the slack for other people just because you can juggle many balls at once doesn't mean that you should be doing that discernment is behind that so choose more wisely and prioritize yourself more and you might feel like the most selfish bee in the world by doing that but we need to fill our own cup first and really it's not your responsibility to take other people's burdens on it really isn't nor to nor to project an image of yourself as being perfect and only positive you just don't need to do that so lean into the anxiety today hey, nine of swords if you're feeling it feel it speak it out perhaps people will be different with you if you do that huh Knight of inspiration seven of voices three of materials so the night of inspiration is i'm passionately moving forward seven of voices bs so I call bs on that i'm passionately moving forward three of materials is working with other people so this could be a work situation where you're like you're, you're always the one that's passionately moving forward upbeat a positive about everything the bs card has come up with that so you can't be that and you don't need to be that either if you find yourself that you're always the one encouraging and all of that in your team and, and you've taken on this role and it's really wearing you down, it might be better to be real today and perhaps other days too, <laughs> be more real. Reunion of souls is behind that. It's other, pe other people being there for you. So now we've got the three of materials people that you're working with, three of cups, other people. Perhaps it's their turn to be there for you and to do things for you. Perhaps it's your turn to crumble. You don't even need to crumble. You just need to be real and express what's what's really going on for you. Temperance. So, feeling our emotions and dealing with it. Not pushing it down. Temperance. Strength and ace of voices. This might be a new start, a new truthful start for you of being strong in that. Allowing yourself. You know, the only reason that we push it down and pretend to be perfect and we we know uh, hold the energy for everyone else hold it together for everyone else is because when we don't think it's okay to be human and we're not like allowing ourselves just to be who we are we're not accepting ourselves as we are we're not loving ourselves as we are and it's a very strong position to be in to love and accept ourselves as we are because then if someone and people will people that are judging themselves in a similar kind of way will if you um, say a negative side of yourself or whatever they'll pounce on you for it um absolutely and they'll call you out for it and all of that kind of thing they'll judge you for it and but it's a reflection on them you know and if you're cool about it it's like well i love that about myself and i'm not trying to hide it so if you've got a problem with that it's really a problem with yourself or not even respond to them is another option as well but moving forward with those feelings and just letting it be okay we don't have to be great all the time so just be careful about roles that you've taken on it's like like being the strong one that's another one right it's like but i'm always the strong and stable one when everyone else is falling apart it's like but you're not though are you that's the thing is you're not you're a human being too and you don't have to take that role on for everyone else you don't have to be the strong one changes is behind that and creativity 
especially in your work, I'm getting a work vibe. You could have been taking on like responsibilities for everyone and always being the strong one. It's time to let that go. It's time to let that go. You don't need to be that. Be very freeing to allow yourself to just be yourself. Especially for those of you that do take on that role and then you keep going and then you need, when it all becomes overwhelming, because it will, because it's not your responsibility to take anything on for anyone else, everything on for anyone else. When it all becomes too much, you just hide until you're strong enough to go back and do it all over again. If you've been in that pattern, it's time to get out of that pattern and be authentic instead. Playfulness. What about our love lives? We've got playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun. Remember, love's the greatest healer and surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So some of you have been taking this energy and you have been applying it to relationships too. Taking on way too many burdens in relationships, doing it all. It's like, oh, I can be the the provider, the protector. I can also be the nurturer. Uh, oh, you've got emotional problems. Yeah, I can get into a relationship with you anyway. And I can sort your emotional problems out too. I can be your coach. I can be your therapist. I can be your mom. I can be your best friend. I can do it all. You don't need to do anything. I can do it all. If you have been in that energy in the past, or if you find that you're still in that energy now, surrender, let it go. What if it's not true that you need to be that? What if your relationship needs are important? Because they are. You being loved. Some of us have been taught to do this, you know, in our families to be the one that shoulders everything. Just because we can doesn't mean that we should forgive, forgive other people as well. You know, a lot of the time it's just because we are the capable ones with the emotionally more mature ones and we are more stable. And just because we are more stable doesn't mean that we should be presiding in all the energies, you know? Just because we can doesn't mean that we should. And that everyone else should take a step back and, and put it on your shoulders. And in a way it's enabling for other people if you do that, if you take those roles on. And then they don't have to step up, they don't have to learn. They don't have to grow. They don't have to do it themselves. They don't have to take responsibility for themselves. They don't have to do anything for you. They don't have to do anything for themselves. Because you got it all. Not good. What have we got? Freedom. Yeah, you could be making a break for freedom, especially if you find that you've got yourself into situations like that, relationships like that. And patience and trust. Patience and trust. I feel like there's a need to trust yourself in all of this too. Mm. and when you are willing to take on roles like that in relationships you will attract towards you those that don't want to they don't want to take those responsibilities on for themselves so those that are disempowered like really willing looking for actively looking for someone that will take the responsibilities off them as well you don't want to be that not good relationships so drought and adventure so if things have if it's drought conditions, if you're not finding what it is that you want, perhaps it's time for a new adventure to set sail on new courses, to put yourself in completely different positions, ask for something completely different in life, do, do things completely differently. You know, over the years, I've been doing this for a very long time, private um, sessions with people as well, and often we have to do the complete opposite so say say you're always the responsible one right sometimes we've got to go to the other side just to experience that like what could you do just to be completely irresponsible do the irresponsible thing all the time and you'll find it's really amusing when you do that but it also gives you a taste of the other side and if other people step up it might be nice you know you might go okay well i don't need to be that extreme but i don't need to be the extreme that i have been doing so in in sessions that I've done, that's often been the guidance. Um, when you've been so polarized in this one direction, it's good to do the complete opposite. Like, I, I'm the kind of person, I'm responsible, right? And I'm the kind of person, I'm always early to things. So if I've got an appointment with anyone, I, I get there early. I'm always prepared and I get there early. And so 
if so the guidance for me would be be late be late to things right and just experience that and see if anything goes wrong or you know allow yourself to be the opposite of it and experience the other side of it because then you might be able to find balance more easily because if we try and just tend toward balance we're going to feel like we we're really selfish or you know it's going to feel like we are the opposite when we're not even anywhere near balanced Okay. What else in the energies today? Too many came out then. Okay, we've got a goldfish out. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth and perhaps breath. We've got a candle. You will be shown the way. So the universe has got you on this. It's trying to lead you forward. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. And four-leaf clover, great, good fortune. Some of you, about this material wealth, some of you have been not standing up for your needs, your material needs and all of that. Relationship needs perhaps too, but perhaps material needs too, and you deserve too, and it's time you start up for that and what, what, you, what you expect and what you want and your needs, material needs, financial needs and all of that. Okay, well think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But it's just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of that bag and cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, you can do one of two things. Either book in for a one question reading on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I'll do that in the live show. Or you can book in for a full private reading if you've got a few questions. If you want a lot of detail and you want it to be private, then book yourself in for one of those. You find that on my website, behealing.com. Link in the description box below and also up there too. How best to deal with these energies today? Well, we've got the Emperor and it's the female version of the Emperor, so it's your energy. And so the Emperor, it's about taking charge. Your life is in your hands. Take charge. Take charge of your own life. You're not here to sort anyone else's life out. You're here to sort your own life out, what you want to experience. So you're, the only power that you've got is to sort your own out. So do put yourself first and take charge of your life because you've got the power. Think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes. Go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show. Come along sometime. We'd love to meet you virtually and perhaps read for you. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there, right now. Watch that next if you want. I have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.